A pleasant good morning. Welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Fedra, Colorado. Today I want to show you guys this unique interior on this 2023 Freightliner M2 106 Summit Hollow Conversion. And for all those just tuning in to our page for the first time, Summit Hauler has been in uh, TransWest name for the past, well, since 2006, we started Summit Hauler. And up to, up to a day like today, I've seen, you know, from what it was before to what it is now, it's just come a very, very long way. I just had a delivery not too long ago. Customers flew out of New Mexico to pick up the truck and the experience they had was amazing. So hopefully you will be the next person I meet and deliver maybe this truck to you. So let's go over this unit. And then if you guys have any questions, feel free, call me, email me, text, whatever the case may be. Um, and let me know what your questions are and I'll be happy to answer those. So let's take a nice look of the exterior on this one. It is white on the exterior and we do have a tan with brown brole inside, like a little wooden finish. Um, but again, you guys will see it once we get inside. Let's take a look underneath the hood as we start off. Again, this is a brand new 2023. Uh, what you guys are looking at right now is the Cummins 8.9 liter engine. It's also partnered with the Allison 3200 TRV six speed automatic transmission. This unit produces 360 horsepower and about 1,150 foot pounds of torque. Nice and clean. One thing about Freightliner that I always mention in every single video is coming into the engine as a customer or the owner, seeing how everything is clearly labeled again. You have some fuses here that are clearly labeled as well. Again, looking straight ahead, you got your fuel filter, separate water separator. You have your power steering fluid. On the other side, you got your filters, your radiator fluid, your air dryer system. Underneath that front driver's wheel, you got your negative and positive studs. So some great options here. Um, again, if you wanna check the stock number, Stock number on this would be 5N221738. Just for reference. And as we come around, you do have a nice little handle here to open and close that hood. So going in here, nice soft closed hood. Again, this hood is made out of compressed fiberglass. And as we look up front here, one of the cool things about Summit Hall is some of the things we do. We put a three piece grill up front. Again, makes that, that front end look full and complete. So you have that top grill here with the Summit Hauler logo. We got that bottom grill here. And of course, that third grill between those tow hooks. Three piece bumper. Again, if any one of those are damaged, you just replace that single one. Over here, you got your LED headlamps. And then we'll come around this way, kind of show you guys the air dryer system. So right, without even opening the hood, you can see you have great uh, access to the air dryer system. And then now you have your window washer wiper fluid. Our tires here are Michelin's. We got 255 80R 22.5s. On Summit Hauler, we add all those lug nuts and that center cap. And of course, we do auto balances on every single corner of this truck. 250 gallon tanks, so 100 gallons of fuel in total. And on the other side, driver side, we have a six gallon def tank. Let me show you what the passenger seat looks like. Again, you got those tan seats. And of course, that brown bro, wooden finish dip throughout the interior. The front seats are air ride, heated with lumbar system. And again, back bench does turn into a bed. So you have that access point and the switch will be on the driver side passenger door, but this folds all the way down. Underneath that, you got a subwoofer with controls on the front dash. Storage throughout this unit. Storage sizes are the same <clears throat> on all four corners. So you got the two bigger boxes up front and the two smaller boxes in the, in the back. 
Voyager camera system, we got one camera installed and that camera will give you that full view of the back end. And this one does come in, um, equipped with the Hensley trailer saver, oh sorry, <laughs> with the BMW uh, turnover ball hitch. So this one come with that turnover ball hitch here. And you do have access here to remove that ball if you need to, or turn it over if you need to. Your seven pin hookup here for your trailer, your Voyager camera system extension to add additional cameras to your screen, and of course, your class five bumper pull hitch. LED headlamps, LED lights throughout this whole truck. And of course, you do have the option of adding a storage box in the rear of this truck. Right now, we are at a 10 week, eight to 10 weeks lead time on building a box and sending it to you. Uh, there, there have been some delays in getting those diamond plates sent out. So for, I used to tell you guys eight weeks. Right now, we're about a two week delay. So it could change from eight weeks to 10 weeks on getting that uh, put together. Let's jump inside, go over some of the interior features. And I think that's what a lot of people have been waiting for. And just as we enter, just want to let you guys know the wheelbase on this truck is 197 inches. Also, the GVWR on this truck is 19,500. And the empty weight on this truck is about 14,000 and 30 pounds so looking at the dash it does have that curve effect make make life easier for the driver to easily access those buttons and when we talk about the buttons here we got your cruise control switch turn on accelerate set accelerate cancel right next to it here you got your marker light opposite that is your manual region button underneath that is your traction control switch Red differential lock. Coming down here, you got your USB chargers. This only charges the your phones or your devices. Rear AC and heat. The fans to control that rear AC and heat. You got your four controls for your windows. The driver has full access to all four windows. And each additional window for the passengers have their own controls on the doors. Heated mirrors for those cold days, power locks. Red, red dump valve, so if you want to dump the air in the rear suspension to back into your trailer or to drop your trailer, you could actually use that feature. Optional switch that will turn on your cargo light or your working lights for nighttime or the rear of the truck. Light test button, if you want to test all your, all your lights before hitting the road, you could turn that switch on, it will have a countdown. You head out, all the lights will blink except those cargo lights in the back. Uh, it will be four white lights in that back of the truck. This one is fully air brake, so you have your air parking brake here. This one is pre plumbed with our glide hands uh, for your air trailer. So all we have to do is mount those glide hands onto the truck. Your in cab AC. And I actually put this bottle in here to actually show you because on a regular cup holder, those thicker bottles will not be able to fit in those uh, cup holders. So this one does come with you know different extensions inside here so it has a smaller area for the smaller cups and then it opens up to allow bigger cups to fit in there so um, full access to big bigger uh, cups bottles whatever the case may be but with that you got storage in here you got more cup holders here you have an additional cup holder here for your passenger up front over here, you got your radar trailer brake system. Underneath here, you have your HDMI or your USB plug-in for Android and Apple capability that will go into your Stinger stereo. <clears throat> and then you have your sub knob. So with the subwoofer underneath the back seat, this sub will actually, this knob will actually adjust the amount of bass coming out of that speaker. Engine brake, so you do have a J-brake system here. This switch will turn it on. And of course, this is a high and low setting on that system. 
This unit has 799 miles. Um, if we just look closer to those gauges, you have your oil gauge, water gauge, transmission gauge, um, you have your RPMs, you have your MPH, and then of course you got your fuel. Right now it's on full. Your def fluid with the green lights, four green lights down here. As you lose def, those will go down to one. Again, once it's in green, everything is good. Once it starts changing color, you know you're out of def. So please don't allow that to even go down to one or two. Just kind of make it a habit every, you know, thousand miles or whatever the case may be. Every two or three full ups, just add def to the, to the vehicle. But again, it's all up to you. Then you have your primary and secondary air compressor gauges. And right above that, we're gonna go up to your Voyager camera system. This is a screen for that. And right next to it, there's a little string. That string is for your air horn. And as we come across here, you got storage in here. We got storage up here. And then of course, all your light options throughout this unit. One of my favorite is those infinity lighting. And of course it gives you that effect that the lights are going up to the sky. But again, at nighttime, like I always say, turn those on. It really is really impressive. But again, this unit is on the market and is available. So if you guys are interested, feel free to give me a call. My number will be at the bottom of the screen. My name is Marlon Bledman. My co-worker is Larry Vickers. You can call either of us. The store number is 303-684-3400. Ask for Marlon or myself, or you could call me directly. My number is at the bottom of the screen with my email. Feel free to reach out to me directly if you want to talk to me one-on-one. Um, -on -one. But in the meantime, have yourself a wonderful end of the week. Tomorrow is Friday. The weekend is about to come on again. So enjoy, be safe. And of course, if you want to drive safe, get in one of those freight liners. So thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you guys back here next time. Thank you.